Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thank you for watching us tonight on this Veterans Day. A very important question for you. Why is the far left putting military and all Americans in danger? That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. First, the background. When President Bush defeated Al Gore in 2000, some Americans thought Bush stole the election and the hatred set in. Then 9-11 happened, and most Americans supported the president when he aggressively went after al-Qaeda and their enablers. Then came Iraq. Again, most Americans supported the action, but the far left did not. Subsequently, the Iraq war became extremely difficult, and the far left became increasingly strident and bitter towards Mr. Bush. And even though things are getting better in Iraq, that bitterness is still in play. So now we have a situation where some Americans are putting all of us in danger because they hate Mr. Bush so much. Texas billionaire Mark Cuban, who owns the Dallas Maverick basketball team, has financed a movie that portrays American soldiers in Iraq as murderers and rapists. There is no question this film will incite anti-American hatred around the world, but Cuban doesn't seem to care and has lashed out at me for reporting the situation. Well, this guy's never seen the movie, but he's out there threatening Mark Cuban, if you release this movie, I'm coming after you. <laughs> like a really hard to find bill, right? You know? I'll be at the Dancing with the Stars finale, just come on, show off, and you can tell me what's on your mind. But at the same time, there is every bit of me that just wants to say, Bill O'Reilly is a moron. <laughs> All right, this is for you, Mr. Cuban. I would never sit through a movie that shows American troops raping and murdering a 14-year-old girl. Ever. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. While you're dancing with the stars, sir, hundreds of thousands of brave military people are risking their lives so you can do the mambo without fear of some terrorist blowing you the hell up. Your arrogance is horrifying. During World War II, President Roosevelt might have incarcerated Mark Cuban, and General Patton would have slapped the tar out of him. But today, Cuban's anti-American actions are ignored in many quarters. That must change. So I am asking Dallas Maverick ticket holders to bring signs to the arena that say, support the troops. Very simple. No negative. Just support the troops. And that way, Cuban might get the message. And if any movie theater in your neighborhood shows this vile film redacted, let's stand out in front of the theater with the same sign support the troops. Even if you disagree with the Iraq war, even if you dislike President Bush, no loyal American should support an enterprise that incites hatred against America. For some reason, Mark Cuban has a grudge against this country. In a free society, he's entitled to that. He's not entitled to put our troops in the field in even more danger. And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight. Two other views of this. With us now, Margaret Hoover, a Republican strategist, and Kirsten Powers, a Democrat and Fox News analyst. All right, Powers. This movie redacted is going to be put on Al Jazeera, Al Arabia. It's going to be all over the world. Not the whole movie, mm -hmm. just the rape and the uh, murder of the 14-year-old Iraqi girl, her family. It is the most vile, disgusting stuff in the world. Are you going to be out there, Kirsten Powers, with me? with a sign in front of the movie theater that says support the troops. Are you going to be there? No, probably not. You're not? Um, I, don't, I, I have a problem with the movie. Uh, I don't think that I have to hold a sign that says support the troops to prove that I support the troops. You don't want to send a message to this I don't think. Guy. I think that uh, we've talked about this on the show before. I mean, I think that the way this movie's been promoted is, is pretty disgusting. You have the director going out and saying essentially that you need to see this movie so you can understand what's going on in Iraq, implying that because a few people did a very bad thing that all of our soldiers are doing this and I think you're right it will be used for propaganda to suggest that this is in fact what all of our soldiers are doing when of course it's not and the people who did so this So why are wouldn't punished. you make a public stand against it and join me out there in the theater with the song? I just don't think it's necessary to do that. I mean, I'm not opposed to you doing it. I just don't feel that I right. need to do that to, you know. How about you, Ms. I will feelings. absolutely be out there with you because this is an incredible example of the hubris of the American far left. This movie is going to go to become a recruiting tool for terrorists that will kill American soldiers and possibly Americans. It is unacceptable. All right. So you're going to be there, Powers, is it? Now, let's talk about Cuban. He is a Dallas billionaire, made his money on the net. This country allowed him to do that. He is now basically, this is his second foray into this. He financed a, a conspiracy film about 9-11, which you talked about. He we got Car Charlie Sheen to narrate. After our reporting, Sheen backed away, and that picture is in limbo. So now you've got two. You've got two. One, America attacked itself on 
another Iraqi troops rape, and I mean, this is a graphic scene, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. This is horrible. This is some of the most awful stuff you would ever see in any movie. So what are we to think and what are we to do about a Mark Cuban? I think exactly what you're doing, Bill. You speak out against it, but we live in a free country where he is allowed to do this. I mean, we can't stop him from doing it, uh, nor do I think we should stop him from doing it in terms of the government. I mean, you talked about, you know, what would FDR do with him, maybe throw him in jail. I don't think people should be thrown in jail for free speech. But I do think that you can put pressure on them and, and talk about issues and raise issues and All raise right. awareness. And we'll have, more, we'll have more information about what we're going to do and when we're going to do it coming up. And, and it goes to the far left's inability or sort of want to not help in the war on terror. Yeah, it's a Meryl Streep syndrome. Off. That's what it comes off. Yeah. It comes off like somehow they're responsible or they're guilty or they just feel uh, too conflicted about helping America. Well, they feel, no, the, no, the Meryl Streep's of the world and these people who won't say we want America to win the war on terror believe it's our fault. Terrorism is our fault. That's where, that's where it is. They don't buy the war on terror premise to begin with. Right. We fought, we did it. We're the bad guys. So why should we cooperate with anything? And, and I mean, these aren't your people. You're a liberal. You're not far left. But I think you should be out there with that sign, Powers. Okay. I think your mother will call you tonight after this broadcast. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I, I can almost bank on this and say, you better get out there. Well, I'll think about it, Bill. Or you're not getting Thanksgiving dinner, <laughs> Powers. You're not getting... If you, you have no control there, over that, Bill. I don't, but I know your mother. And she said, either you're out there with the sign or you're eating a diner. Don't you think so, Hoover? I agree. I, I wouldn't let her in the living room. You should do it. Join us. Support right. troops. Once again, this Cuban guy, we are going to have a response to this movie and we will tell you keep you posted on what we're going to do where we're going to do it and all of that